Hi, I'm pretty excited. Check this out. I've got the Tilt 5 Augmented Reality Glasses. I was a backer of this way back. Of course, this is uh, Jerry Ellsworth's uh, baby, and uh, this has been a long time coming. In fact, it was more than four years ago that we had Jerry on the Amp Hour podcast, and I'll link that in. It's an excellent episode talking about uh, the demise of her former company, which was Cast AR, and there's the Valve thing, which is what uh, a lot of this tech uh, came from. She was working on augmented reality glasses at Valve, and then um, they decided to scrap the augmented reality division and had a co-founder and went out uh, on her own, basically, and formed Tilt 5, and then did a uh, Kickstarter for this thing. It was an Indiegogo, and um, yeah, I was one of the early uh, backers, and I finally got my kit. I've got, I was a tight ass. I only got the... Uh, I only got the LE kit um, with the single goggles in it. But um, yeah, it's they finally delivered after she got venture capital and everything. So she, uh, you know, was able to really spend the time to actually develop these glasses. And she has offered uh, to be on uh, the show. So uh, yeah, I will get her on and we'll uh, talk about, hopefully, the um, uh, development of this thing. And she was kind enough, Jerry, uh, personally included, some extra stuff as well some old prototypes so yes i will be doing a teardown video well not really prototypes so these aren't the early uh bodge prototypes <laughs> spoiler alert for what's in the box but uh yeah i she did throw in some extra ones i'm not sure if they work but uh yeah we can do a teardown but this is just me playing with it so let's have a squeeze here i've only got the one uh the small game board or the normal game board or something um it does have there's the step-by-step instructions there you go that's pretty good open your game board step two plug in your glasses because you want a simple seamless um experience and then step three download and launch a game jerry has also sent me uh some additional developer um uh, demos and software as well which i can uh play with so yeah here's the game board now of course this is the retro reflective surface i won't show you the full thing because it's quite large so this is all re retro reflective surface so any light regardless of the angle that the light comes in on because these are a this is an augmented reality uses a projection based um, system so it actually projects the light onto here and then it bounces back and you can have as many users as you want and they all get their own individual viewpoint on the board because this is retro reflective material just like Apollo 11 put on the moon, see how they can shine the laser back. And these are like uh, calibration dots, I think, around the um, outside. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, that's really cool. It's got a felt back in, so it doesn't slide around. Very nice. And in the box, uh, it's not terribly exciting. There's no instructions. You scan it all in. We've got our glasses. There you go. So they've got, the, uh, they've got two projectors in there and um, tons of sensing stuff and we'll do a teardown video but isn't that very nice as the USB-C input there um I don't know if they're battery powered or whether or not uh you have to com leave them completely plugged in. I, I think you have to leave them plugged in because otherwise um I don't think it's wi-fi um to like stream the game in data or whatever I think it does go over the USBs but anyway very nice they don't weigh much and I've already had a fiddle with this um, so you get like a USB uh, to USB-C um, and also a uh, USB-A adapter as well and then we've got the wand which is um, what you play the game with there it is so we've got a joystick there we've got a button on the back and like Xboxy uh, type uh, controls and stuff here. There's another button. I got no idea. I don't know about details of this thing. As I said, there's a quick sneakity peek inside here. But yeah, basically, um, this has um, this is not magic. This actually has infrared. I think it's uh, infrared LEDs, and then it tracks. Um, it's able to track. Um, where you're pointing the wand and stuff. So yeah, it's really cool. So this is really amazing tech. So I'm really interested to actually finally put this on. I've never used augmented reality. I don't use virtual reality. So technically, I think this is going to be very amazing. So yep, I'm going to peel the sticker off for you sticker aficionados there we go only use approved cleaning materials keep away from liquids and moisture keep away from heat sources keep around direct sunlight avoid scratches keep clean with soft lens cloth oh look at that look at that ah oh, like a bought one. Oh, there we go fantastic all right i'm ready to plug these bad boys in and give it a burl
So I'll pop the double lazies in there. Seems like an okay design battery department. It's got the rails there. Yep, so it can't come off like that. So yeah, that should be fairly durable. So I'll give it a burl. I have no idea about this. I got no, I'm just gonna like probably scan this thing, um, hook it into the PC. And I installed the uh, drivers last night um, for these ones she sent me and I, they didn't say, they detected, but they didn't seem to do much. But yeah, I think, um, think some things might be missing <laughs> from this. These were um, older prototypey ones, but uh, let's see. This is the real deal right here. And if memory serves me correctly, Jerry has talked about getting different types of like nose um, things here, you know, for people like I've got a fairly big nose, um, different types of like um, nose adjustments. There's nothing in the box, um, but yeah, so I don't know what the deal is there. And apparently you can wear them with your glasses as well. Um, so I do wear glasses for, you know, really up close stuff in, in low light. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what sort of lighting conditions we have to um, use this in, like, you know, if you've got really big, because this is, this actually projects out. So the actual brightness, um, as it appears to your eyes, actually reflected back from the retro reflective material. I think it's like, it's well over 50% return light. I think it's, it might be like 70% or 80% return light or something. Apparently it's very good. So I guess the perceived brightness to your eyes will uh, have to do with um, the ambient light as well. But anyway, only one way to find out. Let's plug it in. Well, I'm very surprised by the size of the game board, actually. It is quite large. Here's a banana to scale, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, very impressed. So you've got to have, like, quite a large uh, coffee table or whatever to make this thing uh, work. But, yeah, so there's, you know, plenty of, like, you know, four people sit around. I assume it's up to four uh, players, depending on the game. And I can, you know, four people sitting around like this, and you can uh, poking and, I don't know, doing whatever you do with characters. Now, to be clear... There may be some bias here because I actually hate, with a passion, 3D virtual reality stuff. I hate 3D movies. I hate, like, I've looked at virtual... I haven't looked recent, like, in the recent years, but I've hated every VR experience goggle thing that I've used. I, I just, nah, no, I don't like it. But this is augmented reality. This is different. This is actually projected out. This is why I backed this thing and was curious to see technically if I'd enjoy it or not. So this, <laughs> so this uh, first reaction is coming from someone who actually hates virtual reality, right? You won't find me in Mark Zuckerberg's bloody what a meta thing, whatever it is. According to the website, it's only for Windows at the moment. There's an Android version coming and a Mac OS uh, version coming as well. Just on Twitter uh, yesterday, Jerry actually confirmed that uh, the Android version will actually come before the Mac OS version. So sorry for the Mac fanboys. All right, so I'm going to plug in the uh, USB cable, which is um, custom shaped, and it does actually slide in like that. Maybe, you know, if you had a small one, you could fit a regular USB-C. It is regular USB-C, but like physically, um, you sort of have to do this when it's kind of, you know, a custom uh, thing like this and it's got to come out. You can't just have it flapping around in the breeze. So it's nicely integrated um, in there, the USB C connector. So that's done uh, really well. I installed the um, the uh, the latest beta version of the game software that Jerry um, sent me, rather than download it from the web, like the uh, driver. Sorry that Jerry sent me. So um, yeah, I'll plug it in. I've got my. I'm using the USB A adapter. I assume that's okay. Oh, there we go. Glasses ready to boot. Loading firmware. Validating firmware. There you go. Starting starting the glasses. The glasses are starting. This doesn't, this didn't work with the other pair that I had, so other, the, oh, I can hear something. Is that a fan? That's a fan. I can hear a fan. These things need to be fan cooled. They're not passively cooled. That's a bit of a downside, but I guess if you're all playing and shouting and, you know, screaming at your augmented reality game, you're not going to hear it. But uh, I'll use it without my glasses first, and uh, let's see what happens. I do have my overhead studio lights on, so it is a bit bright in here. G game board is like, it's just, it's installed. Okay, got the LE settings. Um, all right, I guess I just have to run a game. That's just the driver. Now, as for these thing, things fitting on your head, um, <laughs> last night when I put these on, you can see the photo on uh, Twitter, I did actually, I, I think I cracked. 
I think I cracked it, but these are the prototype ones. These, these are not the real ones. So these have probably been used and abused. Uh, this is like the old proto, one of the old protos Jerry uh, sent me. Um, Non-functional, but it detects and stuff. So like I, I put it on like this and it really, it's, it really stretches it out. I don't think I have a big head. Well, by definition, I'm a YouTuber, so I've got a big head, right? But um, yeah, so it's better if you slip them over your head like that, then there's less stress on here. But yeah, I would have liked to have seen more compliance in uh, the plastic actual design like that. Because yeah, if you yeah if you put it like like that, you really have to you have to. Well, maybe maybe I was doing it wrong. I was like sort of like eh, maybe you've got to grab it like that and put it over. I don't know what the best way is. Anyway, I do have a tiny little micro crack in there. I think so. They're the proto glasses. So let's let's do the real deal. Okay, I'm going to run a demo called Marbles. Configuration, here we go, screen resolution 1280 by 720. Graphics quality good, yeah, well, that's the only option I have. And display one, right, display two, uh, right, okay. Okay, so this is what we, <laughs> this is what should be running, okay. And this will be me. So, let's have a go. It's augmented reality. Is it going to be any good? <laughs> Don't know. I, I think I'll be technically impressed, but you know, please forgive me if I'm not like wowed away as a gamer, because I'm not. You know, I'd like I'd rather play like a real board game than in, anyway. Technically, I want to check these out. There's no instructions. How do I turn it on? Center button. There we go. Something blue is flashing. Do I have to? How do I connect? I assume this wirelessly connects. Well, hang on. I Don't have enough lead length here. Got to be careful. Uh. No, I'm not seeing anything. I'm doing something wrong. Hang on. Nah, I think I need to read the instructions. I'm not sure if this is like paired or whatever. I'm not sure what the deal is. Oh, yeah, really need a longer lead length. Jeez. Um, <laughs> stupid me. I actually forgot to choose next step here and follow the instructions. So yeah, I just thought because the software was running, it would instantly work. But no, obviously you've probably got to like pair stuff and do other setup. So bleh. Yeah, idiot users like me. This is when you're developing products like this and you know, the user experience, you have to deal with idiots like me. Press the system button, center button immediately below. Yeah, that's what I did. You'll see a blinking blue LED indicating the one is successfully paired. Yep, yep, so I've paired it. Open the marbles demo, which is the one I've got. No, that's it. Um, no, I, I did the right thing. Yeah, there's, there's nothing projecting out of this um, at all. Something's not happening. I don't know, do I have to re-plug it? I'll just restart everything. I don't know. Got zippity doodah. I got nothing. So, I don't know. I'm doing something dumb, obviously. Woohoo! I finally got it. I wasn't doing anything dumb. Um, I was plugging it into the front USB port using the supplied USB A adapter into my uh, desktop, main desktop PC here. And I was just talking with uh, Jerry uh, via direct message and she helped me out. And um, she said, yeah, they're really pushing the limits of uh, data rate on USB um, C. So yeah, if you plug it into like over like a ribbon cable, she said like on the front panel of a desktop PC, it may not work. And that's why it was dropping out from the uh, driver. So it has to be in there. You can see now that it's in there and uh, it's actually detected and it's running and I can see little projectory things happening here. So it's all working. It did default to a lower, uh, I think 720 by 480 res or something. So I'll just run with that for now. Um, and then I'll try and increase the, uh, uh, resolution later because of course larger the resolution the greater the data bandwidth so I'm not sure if it automatically like detected that based on what it can do I'm not sure but anyway it's projecting so here we go I'm gonna put it on my wand is linked up okay here we go will it wow me here we go I haven't got my glasses on so it might be a little bit fuzzy right up close here but in the middle there should be fine and I haven't got much lead length so let's put it on Way there we go. Hello, three dimensions. Wow. Okay, I have no idea how to use a controller, but I'm just looking at that. That, that is really cool. Wow. Like I'm, I'm sitting pretty close to it, and I get the entire field of view. That's really cool. And like, yeah, you can almost reach out and touch that ball. That's well done. That is very good. Oh, yeah. If I if I looked at the camera, it's turned off and it's only 
it's it, it's off now. It's off now. It's off. It's off. And as soon as it detects, I guess enough uh, dots on the outside, it starts projecting. And yeah, I, if I tilt my head like that, I can see the edge. I can see the edge of the actual projection. Even though this is low res, this is amazing. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. So start, I guess, layer one. But it ain't starting. So I got no idea how to start this thing. I wish I could see the balloons and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, I can't see it on the thing here, but yeah, yeah, this is this is pretty good, right? This is this is what I expected. Is what? Well, yep. Yeah, it, it takes a second. When you move your head back, it takes like maybe a second, second and a half for it to show back up. But that's totally understandable. That is very cool. Well done, Jerry and team. This is very impressive. Um, if I could only play it. <laughs> I don't know how to start the damn thing. Anyway, yeah, the thing is this, well, I believe this uh, transmits infrared and it's going to come back. And the interesting thing, if you wave your hand over it, you can see the red, green, blue. You, your fingers turn into red, green, blue. So that's <laughs> that's kind of cool. But yeah, I, I, augmented reality to me is better than virtual reality um, because you can like you can like just you know, like you can put your hands in here and you can still see them. You can still see the real world. You can still see your friends, right? Um, yeah, which is you know it's great. But oh no, here we go. Oh, it's rolling. Here we go. Somehow I got it. It, it, it started somehow. Okay, way, whoa, way. Okay. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna have to get the, uh, yeah, the, the kids will be the ultimate um, test of this thing. So it's a marble run. Oh, it can go back uphill. How does it do that? With gravity? <laughs> it's defying gravity. There's a, I can see one of the, uh, yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. And yeah, I moved my head around. Yeah, I can see it like, a, there's the windmilly thing. Um, I, you can still, you do notice the splits in the board, though. Maybe because it's not, oh, uh, if I put it on a flat, yeah, I can still notice the splits on the board, but this is this is really cool. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I can see how the kids are going to like this. I've only got one controller, unfortunately. So, hey, ride the bumps. Wait, oh, oh, no, I lost my ball. Whoa, am, am I seeing it flicker? Or is that... Don't know if that's my imagination or not. Okay, uh, yeah, the, the field of view. Like, I'm really close to this, and the field of view is almost complete. But as I said, if I tilt my head like that, I do lose a bit of the frame in there. Oh, my ball's gone. Oh, roll this way. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm stuck. Oh, oh, no, no, there we go. You have to get momentum. Oh, pistons, pistons. Way! <laughs> this is pretty fun. All right. This is the only demo I have installed, but this is good enough to let me... Yeah, this is a pretty good demo. It gives you an idea. What? No. Oh, no! Hey, now I can see the balloon. See, this, I don't actually need the wand. I don't actually... I can just... This one doesn't need the wand at all. I'm not doing anything with the wand. So, like... But the wand is to, like, select, like, pieces and stuff. Like, you can... You know, if you're playing, like, a board game, you can select pieces, I believe and you can like pick them up and stuff. This is as good or better than what I expected. Yeah, whether or not, I'd, I don't know, I'd have to play many hours on it. Whether or not it's going to hold my, in like augmented reality is gonna hold my interest, I just don't know. Like I said, like virtual reality, I don't know. I haven't tried the modern, ah, oh, haven't tried the modern ones, but all of the ones I've tried, I hate them. I hate 3D movies. I hate, you know, no, no, give me the real world. But this is, this is fun. I like the fact that you can, um, it, why I'm like pointing the wand, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't need to, I can just sit here. So you can just use it as a normal controller. This is really, this is really cool. Well done, well done. And, and, thi and this is only low res. This is only low res. I'm gonna try it again in high res. So as you can see, I can select the resolution here. Uh, 720 by 480 is what I was playing it at. Let's see if we can bump that up. Let's, let's see if we can get full, ah. Uh, 1920 by 1080. Let's see if we can get full full HD. I'm really gonna push it. I'm not seeing a huge amount of difference, actually. Maybe, maybe it is there. Maybe I have to pay attention more. But the other one was the lower res was perfectly fine. I didn't. I you know my mind wasn't going. Oh, this is blocky and low res. It seemed pretty good. So yeah, well, <laughs> I get, like got a habit of using the wand, and I just don't need to. I just don't need to. This is just a normal thumbstick 
controller. Now, and yeah, it, 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 it does look real. Like I can, I can put my, like I can't put my hand, like it feels like you can put your hand under it. Like it feels like I can scoop that ball up. It, it, it really does, like you're, you're not seeing my hands obviously, but it feels like I can scoop that ball up. And it feels like my hand's going under it, under it, but it's not, of course, because it projects back. So that, that's really, that's really very cool. I, I want to get hit by the hammer. Boom. There we go. Hang on. Oh, I'm just checking. Just checking the, oh, oh, no, yeah, 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 it died. If I go too close, but everything's in focus. You don't have to be a set. Right, when I go further back, I can see the resolution now. I can see the resolution. Like, I can, like it gets fuzzier because of the resolution. Like, it's, it's a smaller part of the wider field. I, I guess is the best way to explain that. But as I go in, but it, it doesn't lose focus at all. And I can look around that to see the balloon. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's fun. I, the, the, the ultimate test will be the kids to see if they like it. So I'll take it home tonight and I'll give the, I'll give the kids a demo. They'll, they'll be fighting over it. So, <laughs> Jerry, I'll have to order another. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'll like it. I think I'm going to have to order another headset. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, another wand and glasses. But, but the problem is we don't... It, I'll have to run it from my laptop. So, yeah, well, like, that's the thing. Like, you've got a, a lead length, you are quite limited, and you've got to have a PC. So, but, of course, to have, um, like, wireless in this, you probably wouldn't get the bandwidth required, and also it adds huge power consumption um, things and stuff. So I'm not sure how much power the uh, projectors and stuff take. I can plug a USB monitor power monitor into it and find out how much power it's taking. But Jerry said, yeah, they're, they're on the limits of the data rate, the USB-C data rate that they can push. But I'm playing this in full HD. And yep, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. I'm gonna try that at the lowest res, like 640 by 480, right? Seriously, there's not a huge amount of difference. Like, if, if I go back, it, it's still, it's still fun, like, uh, yeah, it's still fine, like in 640 by 480. No wackers at all. I assume if you've got two player, you've got two balls, you know, and you race each other and then you could... That'd be really cool. It's probably not a single player game. I think just like the Oasis, you know, <laughs> it was never meant to be a single player game. I think, you know, this is designed to play with your friends around the coffee table. And I can see how this... It, this is going to be a winner, really. I, I can see that, yeah. I think, I think Jerry's onto something here. Yeah, this is better than VR. Like, because this, you can have fun with your friends. You can still see your friends like this, and it kicks in. It'd be nice if it kicked in a bit quicker. Oh, actually, there we go. Like, it takes one, two, like, maybe a second, second and a half to kick in. That's a little bit annoying. Um, being able to see the lines, I, they kind of, like, vanish when you're actually, you know, if you sit, if something's still, you, you, you notice them. Otherwise, it just, you know, when, when you've got motion blur and you play in and stuff. But, yeah, no, it's really sharp. It's in focus. It's got a wide field of view. And, and it does feel very immersive. It's very impressive. Yeah. It's, it's exactly what I expected. Like, you know, yeah. It's a <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I've got a good enough imagination to realize what this would have been like technically but yeah yeah it's and as i said it's probably a yeah it, it's definitely on par with my expectations that is for sure maybe even a bit better but yeah you can play this at low res and i believe um yeah you might even be able to play it from the usb on your phone usb c port on your phone uh once once the android version comes out two thumbs up <laughs> that is really good well done Jerry, um, the noise from these things, it's not as loud. When you put it on your head, it's louder here because it's like, it's like coming out the top. And so when, but when you've got it on, it, it, it's not, actually not as loud. It's louder when you have it here. So it's not distracting at all. And the weight's pretty good. They feel reasonably comfortable. I kind of maybe like the robustness of the, they, they feel um, fragile, like well, not, not hugely fragile, but they do feel a little bit fragile. Like, you know, you've got to be careful with them. Um, but these are basically a first gen product. So I'm, you know, I'm sure they will um, improve, but no, they're, they're more than good enough. This is, this is going to be really good. This is going to be successful.
All right, I'm just going to try uh, some other uh, demos now. I've got what's called a physics gun, and sorry, you can't really see this. It's tiny up here, but on the on the game board, it actually looks uh, fantastic. And by the way, I'm shooting this with my studio uh, lights off, so I have it fairly dim in here. It's just over 220 lux. Um, at the moment for those you know referenced for those playing along at home so 220 lux so it is quite low light and um there's plenty of uh light coming back it doesn't seem dim or anything so so this one is i'm not sure like it's got like a moat with so like liquid falling into it and then i can actually point at objects and i can pick them up with the button and i can move them around and the physics like it, it actually moves other objects so i can push one object with the other so I can pick this up and then I push this and this is this is really cool and this is one of the augmented reality things um, you know one of the um, scientific medical applications and stuff like that that you can get with these you know you're doing so I don't know you could maybe use this for surgery can you or whatever and you know you can actually manipulate things in the space and this is this is actually really impressive it's really good it feels really natural and it feels like I'm like, yeah, I, like it feels like I can grab it. But then unfortunately, you're very disappointed when your hand, like my hand tries to come up, it, my hand looks like it is below this object. But then I bring it up and it, it, it just vanishes. And it's so disappointing, so disappointing. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool demo. And that's coming really, like I can get that right in front of me. Wow, wow, and that, and that really, um, yeah, I, but once again, I can't put my hand behind it. Urgh. But that, that, that focus is incredible. That fo like, it stays, it, it really, well, it's, it's higher detail now because it's right, it fills up my field of view more. This is a really lo low res uh, demo. That's why it's so small on the um, screen capture here. But wow, yeah, this is, this is really amazing. I can bring that object right up. And then I can leave it there and I can look around the object like that. Whoa, whoa, my table just wobbled. <laughs> As in the virtual table just wobbled. Really, I can grab and manipulate objects. And can I rotate? I don't know if I can rotate them. No, I can't seem, to, can't seem to rotate them, but I can manipulate them and move them around. Very cool. Wow. And Jerry said that they're working on the sound. I can actually hear the sound. I've got my speakers turned off um, now. So like before I was having the audio come through the speakers, but I can hear, I can, I can hear the water dripping. Now, unfortunately, when there's no major sound, like, you know, there's no music playing in the background, it's really quite quiet in this room at the moment, I can hear the fans whirring. And that, it's a little bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying. But of course, to get rid of the fan and have passive cooling on this thing um, it would have to be much heavier you know you've got to have aluminium in there for the heat sink for the passive heat sink and stuff like that be interesting to get the thermal uh, camera on I won't do that in this video anyway yeah I can hear it but I, I can hear the dripping of the water in here the ooze the green ooze it's a river of slime all right I've got a Lego example now and I can use the wand to point at stuff and I can make my little Lego character jump. I wonder if she's got the rights to use the Lego. I don't know, but, oh, oh, can I, I almost made it through. So I've turned my studio lights on now. You can't see them, but I'm getting 1400 lux. That's quite a lot. Uh, whereas we're only getting 200 lux before. So now I'm gonna give it, see how less bright it is. No, it's, it's still fantastic. There's still no problems whatsoever. Um, obviously you can't see what I'm seeing, but really there's not a huge amount of difference there. Okay, I'm going to switch my studio lights off now. Yeah, it's better. Um, yeah, you, you definitely don't, don't want to play it with, you know, like a thousand lux. Um, you want to play it with like a couple of hundred lux or something like that. It is definitely like the colors are richer, they aren't as washed out, but no, it was still very playable with well over a thousand lux. No worries. All right, let's see if we can see through this lens. Um, it's going to be difficult, but that's, that's what you're seeing there. You can, you can see through, but yeah, you, you, you won't get the experience. There, there's the wand I was telling you about, but you, I'm sure you're not going to get the same experience as looking through, and you certainly won't get the stereoscopic-y effect through both, but 
Yeah, it's really difficult to shoot footage through this. Oh no! All right, now we're talking. We've got like, this is called Forest Campaign. And I've already battled one dude. Here we go, so I'm gonna battle a dude. You're like, no, come on, and demon, come on. And then I can mash, mash the buttons, boom, boom. Come on. Yeah, I, you're right, so this is just a joystick control thing. Hack slash, hack slash. Can I beat the demon? This, this is pretty cool, because you can like, like, you know, that, 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 that tree's in the way at the moment, right? Tree's in the way, and I can look around the tree, right? It's, it's very good. It's very cool. Come on, one more strike. Can I kill the demon? Come on, oh, I got him. Yeah, it's cool, right? So you can actually look around stuff. Yeah, you really need a longer cord length, but this is pretty impressive, right? The graphics on this are great. See, I don't know what the kids are gonna think about this. It's gonna be interesting to see. See, and the thing is like, I can get closer up to that and like I can look around the tree and inspect, you know, and see things and, you know, and my character disappears behind the tree and stuff. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's really very cool. So yeah, it feels like there's like a, like a diorama thing in front of you. You know, even though my, my mind knows it's not real, but you know, it's pretty good though. That's impressive. Night Madge, get him! Yeah, oh yeah, how'd I do that strike? Boom, ah, yeah. Oh, okay, so I've got this uh, demo pack configuration. It's got now fantastic graphics quality. So I'm gonna go for broke. I'm gonna go full HD. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing the value in the full Three, HD here two, one, at all. Go. This seems to be no more impressive than what I had before. Anyway, Seriously, I don't see any difference between fantastic quality and the, you know, just the lower res, uh, just the good quality that I was getting. That that's what it says, the fantastic or good. I, I don't see fantastic here, it's just the same as the other one, so I don't know. There we go, I did actually rotate the board around and I am actually facing the other direction now. So, if I go like that, yeah, I, I you rotate the board and it's, yeah, because the dots are in different orientations now, so it knows which orientation is your board. So I've got to play it in this orientation and now my joystick should be correct. Yes, it is. Okay, got it. All right, cool. Oh, there we go, yep. So I'm, uh, what, do I have to pick up the aliens or something? So I'm, yeah, yeah, okay, this menu's in front of this, this one and, and stuff like that. It's really, yeah, it's really cool. It's novel. Um, whether or not the appeal like lasts over the long term, I, I just don't know, but it's, it's very cool. Like technically it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant and it's fun. It's fun to play. Yes, I want to go again. Pilot, yeah, the, the audio is really low. The and drop them to clear the I can floor. barely hear that. Use the targets to ship can barely hear the voices. So, yeah. Whereas you, you can have it come through your system audio. Like Three, I can two, turn on my one, speakers and go. it's going to come through now. But you don't want to have to rely on your system audio, I guess. That's the whole idea. And then everyone can get their own audio. And then get this game. Don't, don't get it at all. So yeah, I can't wait to, yeah, I'm gonna have to get another pair. And it really, like, it's not designed to play on your own. You know, you really, I should have ordered the two, two controller pack, but I just wanted to try it out and see the, just technically, and I'll do a teardown video inside this thing and um, give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to get Jerry on, um, you know, interview with Jerry and talking about the development of this thing and all the tech and stuff like that. Um, yeah, leave your questions in the comments for Jerry because um, she has offered to come on. So that's really cool. So thank you very much, Jerry, for helping out. Um, yeah, I would not have guessed like a data rate port um, issue there, but that that is that is really fun. I don't feel tired. My eyes don't feel stressed. Um, like like in, virtu in uh, VR, my, my eyes always feel stressed. I don't like it at all. Um, and yeah, no, this, this feels good because I like you still see the real world. So it's, <laughs> it's a winner. Well done, Jerry and team. Fantastic. I think it's taken like a, a good couple of years, three, four. Well, we had Jerry on the Ampower four years ago um, and she was working on it then. Um, I'm not sure when I backed it, but it was a long time ago and I finally got it. She has delivered, fantastic. And I think it's gonna be a winner. 
So yeah, I guess the only thing I can say is that I'd like to see like a next-gen version of the glasses that just a bit more physically, you know, the vibe of these feels like, you know, if I go like this, I'm going to snap it. And apparently um, these have like, um, you can do, like you can talk with friends, so you can like do it across, um, you know, on the other side of the world or something. They've got like, spe I think, believe they have like uh, speakers in them or something and a microphone. You can actually talk to other players and things like that, something like that. I don't know. Um, but I think that's that's the case. But this is this is really cool. So they've got the two micro projectors in there, bounces back off the retro reflector, and um, and the uh, you need the alignment dots in here to keep it all aligned. I think she might have mentioned that on the amp hour um, thing years ago. But um, yeah, technically, technically, it's it's brilliant and it's a real good idea. And I'm glad somebody has done the augmented reality thing because everyone focused on the virtual reality side. You put your goggles on and you bloody go into Zucker's metaverse wankery thing. And no. No, thank you. Um, if I'm going to do anything like this, I want augmented, not the stupid virtual reality. So that is really cool. Anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.